How to install your Switch One kit. It takes only one step to install. It doesn't have any cables or wires. It's completely wireless. First, flip your bike upside down. All you need to do is to switch your original wheel with the Switch One wheel. All tools needed are included in your kit. Note, if you need to loosen your front wheel calipers, then do so before removing your wheel. Important! The arrow, located on the axle, must be pointing toward the handlebar. Failure to do so will not allow your wheel to work properly and may cause damage. Turn on your kit by pressing the on and off button located on the axle, where the disc brake rotor mounting side is located. Press the same button to turn off the kit when not in use in order to prevent battery drainage. Make sure to install your washers, nuts, and anti-rotating washers in this order to avoid any damage to your kit. Note that each side has a different order of installation. For example, on this side of the wheel, add first the anti-rotate washer, then the lock washer. Finally, the nut. This is the charging port. Just slide the dust cover to protect it from any damage. If there is any contact with your forks, then just add more space by adding an additional washer included in the kit. Install your LCD wireless display. Remove any accessories you may have from the handlebars and slide in your LCD display. Add your handlebar grip back on and tighten the LCD bolt located in the back. Make sure your thumb throttle moves freely. If you don't want to remove your grips, then use the included extension holder as an option to mount your LCD display on. Tighten the bolts, then slide in the LCD display. Make sure to also read the printed installation guide for more detailed installation instructions. Don't worry about getting your wheel wet, it's fully waterproof. Congratulations, you're done. Now it's time to go out and enjoy your new eSwitchy kit. eSwitchy, just switch it up.